Number 11. As a woman walks, her entire weight is momentarily placed on one heel of her high-heeled shoes. I mean, assuming she's wearing high-heeled shoes. Uh, calculate the pressure exerted on the floor by the heel if it has an area of 1.5 squared centimeters and the woman's mass is 55 kilograms. Express the pressure in pascals. All right, so pascals are the standard unit, all right? So anytime you're working with standard units, you got to think about the standard base values of kilogram, meters, uh, you know, liters, a a.k.a. Uh, not a.k.a., but etc. I don't know what I'm talking about today. Hooray. So anyway, I hopefully do know how to solve this problem. <laughs> so the, the uh, pressure is going to be equal to the force divided by the area, okay? So the pressure is equal to F over A. Now, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use capital A. So the area now is always in squared units, okay? So they told us the area of the uh, heel is going to be 1.5 uh, squared centimeters. However, though, uh, we have to convert that, right, into meters, all right? We have to convert it into not only meters, but squared meters. So cube, uh, centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top, because we need to get rid of the centimeter so we know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter. But now the thing is, there's only one centimeter here and there are two centimeters here. So how do we take care of that? Well, one of two ways. Either you take this thing and you square it. That's fine. You'll get your answer. Or do it again. Right? One meter over 100 centimeters. Now look. Centimeters, two centimeters on the bottom. Cancel those two centimeters on the top. Meter times meter is meter squared. Right? So we'll get our answer. That doesn't matter how you do it. All right. Either way, obviously, just taking the first value here and squaring it, not doing the second one is, is faster. But I just give it, you know, I want to give it to you in a different uh, uh, flavor here so that you can see it uh, in a different way. So simple, just take 1.5, right? Divide it now by 100 times 100. And this works out nicely. This is going to be 1.4 times 10 to the minus fourth meter squared. Okay. So now this is our area in meters squared. So what's the force? Well, essentially the force acting on the heel, if this was the point of the heel, the force acting downward is basically just her weight, right? How do you find weight? Obviously it's equal to mg, okay? And they gave us her mass. So that, come on, there we go. So that's very, very, very simple, right? So the pressure here is gonna be equal to the mass uh, multiplied then by gravity, all divided by area. Let's just plug everything in. So this is 55 multiplied by 9.8, all divided now by the 1.4 times, oops, hold on one second. I don't know how I got 1.4, it should be 1.5, right guys, right? Oh man, I think I'm done after. For today, I will be finished after this problem, okay? <laughs> because I'm apparently can't even get my numbers right. So this is 1.5 times 10 to the minus four, but don't worry, every, I'm catching my mistakes as I go. So this is 55 times 9.8, all divided by 1.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And we get a value now of about uh, 3.59, 3.59 times 10 raised to the three, four, five, it looks like six, all right? And that's in Pascals, all right? Those are the standard units for Pascal. You know, the, the uh, standard units here are going to be uh, Newton, basically, per, meter squared. Okay, and then you can break up your Newton if you want to. Remember, F is equal to MA. So this was really M, uh, the Newton, excuse me, is really M mass, which is, which is, <laughs> which is in uh, kilograms. I need, all right, you know what, guys, I'm just going to stop here for today. I hope you don't mind, but you can break this up and start simplifying with other units. All right, you guys take care. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you in the next question. Take care.